What dictates fat loss, muscle gain, and all that shit? Is calories in versus calories out. I'm a post a lot and hope to God the motion. I believe I'm provoking. There's no facade. I'm poking all the joke is the broke the guard to open and overflow with hopeless artists. I want to fill up the culture with flow. The scar is so distraught. It's close to the bro and office. Only thought to show you the road to solve it. It's taking a little moment to show the problem. Boom. Boom. <laughs> What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO, MTS Nutrition, alongside Katie Lobliner. She still doesn't fucking get that she's supposed to just sit there and be fucking quiet no. during my intro. I'm really the boss here. What are you shaking for? Are you trying to get some extra views for the balance? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <Completely glowed. laughs> this is kind of like our sex life. We're completely <laughs> glowed. We were our Jesus jammies bed at this time. <sighs> Now we've been we've been together 21 years this year. 21 years, so don't kid I yourself. Don't we don't even I'm only have sex anymore. Years old, so what are you talking I don't about? even have sex myself. I'm too fucking tired at the end of the day. Between this boxing bullshit, <laughs> this fucking goddamn it, like motherfuckers, like all right, 20 seconds. I'm like then what? Then we do another round, like three 30, three minute fucking rounds. Yes. Like it's like hit cardio for fucking three minutes. Like where I'm from, hit cardio. Yeah, I'm I fucking think you complaining. Do videos about people complaining about competing and bodybuilding and I'm complaining because I love the challenge okay but one day when Eric's not looking you knock him out kick him in his nuts <laughs> Eric's my trainer at pro boxing fitness in Elgin He's Illinois got a t-shirt real weights for real heroes.com this boxing match will be part of our charity event to raise $75,000 for veterans anyway check it out from Vince Kasparian, he asked this on our Facebook group. I'll link it down below. It's the Tiger Fitness Facebook group. Are you going to read this? I will read it. Shit, man. I haven't read this before, so. I got to poop. Heard that taking a protein shake before having a cheat meal can, can, can increase your glucose levels to help with placing the meal to support your body instead of do harm as in sitting. Is it true or does taking something like MTS Driver help with glucose dispo disposal? All right, let me get to this, guys. Vince, there is compelling data on drinking a protein shake 30 minutes before a meal or a, a excess meal, an overeating meal, a cheat meal as we call it, actually reduces the effect. Not only does it have an anorectic effect, which means it blunts your appetite. Now, link this study down below. Why? Because I'm that fucking smart. Anyway, so we are going to link that. So basically, but if you drink that protein shake right before or with the meal, it does not have that effect. Because you need it to hit your stomach, the protein elicits this anorectic effect, and boom. You're good to go. It also, it, so it helps fill you up. It also has an effect where it will blunt your blood glucose a little bit, but that's not the problem. At the end of the day, what dictates fat loss, muscle gain, and all that shit, is calories in versus calories out. So by, de <laughs> by decreasing the amount of food you eat in the cheat meal, in the cheat meal, you will prevent too much weight gain or negative effects from that cheat meal. However, what I would do, I would also recommend Nutrient Driver. Nutrient Driver helps you to utilize the carbs you have toward muscle gain. And also, you know, basically it blunts some of that insulin spike so that's insulin spikes obviously will lead to more storage of fat. So what I would do before cheat meal is take one to two scoops of MTS Nutrition Whey and then that's 30 minutes before this meal or let's be realistic, if you're going into the restaurant where you're about to eat, you have a sh I've done this before, you have a shake in the car, you sip it on the way to the restaurant, you walk into the restaurant, you order, that's about 30 minutes to an hour, you're good to go. And the study used 30 minutes, but it didn't use 60. I would wager to guess that 60 minutes would have just about the same effect. But you don't wanna be that weirdo timing your cheat meal after your protein shake. So that's that. Um, bottom line is there is definitely benefits to it and there is benefits to eating to taking nutrient driver which is mts nutrition insulin mimetic with carbohydrate to help utilize those carbs more for again anabolic effects and not fat storage and um that's what i have so there's data to support this however i would recommend staying away from cheat meals um i recommend just having what i call free meals what's the difference cheating is a mental thing that's like over the top eating. Like yeah. you're purposely eating so much because it's a cheat meal. Let me go into cheat meals a little more. I had an article out called Keep It Free, Keep It Three. 
And that article is also a part of my Drop Factor book. Keep it free, keep, keep it three, keep it free, means that you basically go to a restaurant and instead of ordering the whole left side of the menu because it's a cheat meal, you go have a normal meal like a normal American. You have an appetizer, number one, a main entree, number two, and a dessert, number three. No buffets. Buffets, you can fuck a lot of shit up. Not a fan of cheat meals. I am a fan of being human once in a while. Go out, enjoy your life, enjoy your family. And if you're competing, I do not recommend those because they're not controlled enough. Have a refeed instead. A controlled refeed would mean adding, for example, 300 grams of carbs on top of your normal macros for the day. I think even a cheat meal like you're explaining, like what if you got like mozzarella sticks that were fried and then you got chicken parmesan with pasta and then you had like cheesecake for dessert. That's like 8,000 calories probably. Right. <laughs> I think it's it's the total calories in the week. So you can either have lower total calories calories for a week in one meal. No, no. Oh. You can lower oh. lower calories <laughs> throughout the week. So total calories throughout the week. So check it out. If you have um, two thousand calories a day is what it takes for you to lose weight. That's fourteen hundred calories a week or fourteen thousand calories a week. Right. Two thousand. So fourteen thousand. Okay. So if you're eating, let's say, if you have a cheat meal that's four thousand calories. That only gives you 10,000 to play with for that fat loss. So I would recommend if you are getting ready, if you are serious and getting ready for a show, do not have cheat meals, have a refeed, and that's within probably eight to 12 weeks out from the show. But if you're just a normal bro like me, going out with his family, keep it free, keep it three. And that means have an appetizer. And again, you can have the mozzarella sticks, ball yourself out, but don't, don't make delicious. it so you eat and you feel like you're about, and you have to puke and you feel terrible. Yeah. Eat to the point of satiation. Eat to the point of staying, of, of feeling well. Eat to the point of being normal. I'll tell you what, as someone who's dieted for so long, it kind of feels good to go to the restaurant and say, I'll have the sirloin steak With and the, butter. the bacon, <laughs> not saying no butter, and just enjoy a meal out and be a normal fucking person for that one I'd moment. I never hear that. You've seen me do I it. Know. I always get my butter on my steak now. Lately, yeah. Because you know what? Sometimes it's just good to be normal. Now, I'm not saying you should do it every meal. If you're like me, I have to eat crazy clean in restaurants because when I travel, I eat at a restaurant every time. If I did that every time I ate at a restaurant, right. I'd be fat that's as fuck. When I go to a restaurant maybe once a week, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting a burger at Red yeah, Robin. And, I still, and you know what? For me, I get the burger patties, but to save calories, I don't get the buns. You know, I don't get bacon. So again, you got to look at the overall calories, calories in, calories out. So I would recommend Vince, I would recommend not calling them cheat meals and having more of a positive, healthy relationship with food. So you don't have to worry about that once a week cheat meal that you enjoy what you eat, look into different seasoning, spices. And honestly, I haven't wanted dessert since we came out with the MTS Nutrition Brownie. Takes 30 seconds to make. I eat about three or four of them bitches a day. And I used to be a sweet tooth motherfucker. I used to be like a girl with PMS every fucking day. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I love desserts. Love desserts. I love licking, licking whipped cream off her nipples. But now I don't even need any of that shit. Number one, because I'm just too tired for that shit. And number two, because the MTS brownie. So find ways where you can make good food that fits into your daily requirements for macronutrients. Find ways to make those satisfy. Whether it's salt, whether it's sweet, make sure that you can satisfy that. That way you don't need that satiation from the cheat meal. I think that answer over answers it, Vince. I took a two minute so question Mark and made it. So Mark will message Vince, right? Vince, you, you get a free tub of whey. I'm gonna message you on Facebook. If you see a DM from me, um, look past the dick pic and you will see. <laughs> you will see me ask for your address, your name, and pictures of me naked. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Mark Lowblender alongside my wife. Katie Lowblender. That's not a game. <laughs>